So he came out with the power of an Alpha, a low image, and a Ghost Rider. Side effect no one could expect. Ghost Rider bits come from soaking in that Dread Doctor tube for 70 years. He absorbed a lot of that dimensional energy from the Rider's whip, and that allowed him to use their weapons. However, despite what Liam and Theo said, that alone didn't make him as powerful as a Ghost Rider. For example, he couldn't open their portals and he couldn't make people forget him or forget the people he zapped away, like Corey. The Alpha Werewolf thing is pretty simple. We get that because it's central to the show. Anyway, it's really the lion part that most people are asking about. He's a low mensch. What the hell is a low mensch? It's part wolf, part lion. In German, they call him a Lohenmensch, or literally lion man or lion person. The name comes from this little statue discovered in a German cave back in 1939 at the height of the Nazi regime and just before the start of World War II. It was carved about 40,000 years ago by a person who would have been a member of a hunter-gatherer level society, and as such, the Lohenmensch is not connected to any known religion or cultural myths. There are no legendary feats of strength or mystical abilities associated with this thing. It's just a hunk of carved ivory that kind of looks like a person with a lion's head. This thing has no backstory. It's just got a name that was tacked onto it by some museum guys. Now, there have been a few lion-headed characters in cultures that came tens of thousands of years after this statue was carved. There was a Roman cult that included the imagery, as did Zoroastrianism, but the character in Teen Wolf isn't related to either of those. It's directly from this little German statue. So how do I know that? I know because I asked. Speaking of, speaking of, of, of myths, the Lohenmensch, which isn't technically a myth, it's, it's a, yeah. a literal statue that was found and everybody supposes there must have been a myth. That was all Will and Eric wanted. That's what I thought, yeah, yeah. So there, there's not like a big Lohenmensch subplot that's going to come out somewhere. No. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> I remember coming into the writer's room and going, wait, guys, he's a lion? And they're like, Lohenmensch. <laughs> and I was like, sure, okay, great. I apologize for braying like a donkey during that interview. I think I'd had a couple of glasses of wine at that point. So, Eric Wallace was one of the executive producers on Teen Wolf in Season 6 and had spent part of his young life on a U.S. Army base in Germany. In the 80s, there was a bit of a stir about the statue being reassembled and restored, and that's when Eric probably learned about the Lohenmensch. But we still don't know why he and staff writer Will Wallace included this as part of the Douglas backstory. I mean, it didn't really show up on screen as anything special. Okay, I admit his crazy-ass final face does look a little cat-like, and he could bite through people's skulls. But to me, that doesn't necessarily scream lion parts. Maybe I'm missing something. 